Whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. One of the jobs of the highway patrol is to police the vast areas of the state where the population is very scattered. In order to enforce the law in these places, the patrol assigns a resident officer. His duties are the same as any patrolman, except that he covers a larger territory. Because of the remoteness of the section, the officer resides there, is on 24-hour call, and in constant communications with district headquarters. On the afternoon of October 7th, resident officer Joseph Klein had finished his routine patrol and checked out with headquarters. Klein was on his way north of Twin Forks to an area where the pheasant hunting was considered good. Officer Klein was permanently assigned a patrol car, but for official use only. When leaving his duties, Klein was compelled by regulations to inform headquarters of his whereabouts, including the location where he planned on hunting. Hey, Marty. Yeah? Isn't that Joe Klein? Yeah, it looks like him, all right. Wonder what he's doing out of uniform. Hunting, I guess. Yeah, that's him. You better go tell Linda. Linda, we got company coming. Hi, hey, Joe. Do a little hunting? Yeah, but I found more than I bargained for. What do you mean? You know what. Where's Potter? He's in the house. Why? They're both under arrest. Lead the way. No idea what you're talking about. I'm sure there must be some mistake. We can straighten it out. Too bad, he was a nice kid. Yeah, but nosy. He's dead. Here are his keys. Bring the car around. north of here. We'll be out of here tomorrow before they find him. You take the car, we'll take the station wagon. Come on.
wipe the car clean. Give me the gun. Give me the rag. There. That'll make it look like a real hunting accident. Let's go. Patrol was on a routine inspection tour of the northern end of the state when a call from headquarters concerning Officer Klein came over his radio. I'll take the call. I'm close to Twin Forks. What time did he check out? Officer serviced out at 1600 hours yesterday after completing his routine patrol. Matthews immediately headed for Twin Forks, knowing that this was the first time Klein had failed to keep contact in his one year as a resident officer. From Matthew's direction, he would pass Klein's residence and the Twin Forks community before reaching the hunting area. He decided to check these places first. For a moment, I thought it was Joe Klein. Uh, uh, need some gas? No, I don't. When was the last time Klein came in for gas? Joe? Uh, yesterday afternoon. Gassed his own car up before going hunting. Did he say when he'd be back? Yeah, he did. Said he'd bring the patrol car in last evening. Uh, but he didn't come back. Say, what's up? Uh, can't you find Joe? You haven't seen him since yesterday, then, huh? That's not like Joe. He's been in here regular every day for the past year. I hope he's all right, mister. He's like a son, except he's ribbing me all the time. Well, thanks very much, Mr... Davis, Fred Davis. Well, thank you, Mr. Davis. I'll check the area he was hunting in. Well, you can't miss it. It's off the dirt road, just this side of the St. Clair farm. Joe is an awful good hunter. Not the last thing he'd run into any accident. I hope not. Matthews began an immediate check of the area for Klein's car. Finding no signs of it, he began checking the road for tire marks and footprints. The road, being seldom used, clearly revealed that a car had stopped there recently. to the headquarters. Go ahead, 2150. I've checked the dirt road area. No sign of Klein's car. I did find a tire track and some footprints. It could involve Klein. Headquarters will send lab man to take Moulage. 10-4. Have all available units search the area. I'll keep investigating. 10-4? 10-4.
there's going to be a cop here in a minute asking a lot of questions. I'll do the talking. Now, let's just sit down and relax and not be nervous. He couldn't know anything. Look domestic, will you? Yes, to St. Clair? That's right. Matthews, Highway Patrol. Well, won't you come in? Thanks very much. Well, this is my wife and uh, Nelson Potter, who works for me. Howdy. How do you do? What seems to be the trouble, Mr. Matthews? Oh, it's no trouble. It's our resident officer, Klein. Do you happen to know him? Oh, sure. I know him well. That's the young fellow who's around Twin Forks, isn't it? Yeah, he's been missing since yesterday. He was reported hunting in this area. Yesterday, you say? Yeah, that's right. So you didn't happen to see a car parked over by the dirt road, did you? Well, it's harvesting season. Potter and I have been working pretty hard lately. We haven't paid any attention. Uh, how about you, Linda? No, I didn't see anyone over there yesterday. You see cars over there every now and then, usually hunters. Well, did something happen to the officer? Well, we don't know. Thanks very much for your help. That's all right. Uh, I hope the boy's okay. Anything we can do to help, Mr. Matthews? No, not a thing. Thanks, just the same. 3280 to 2150. 3280 to 2150. 2150, bye. Civilian reports discovering Officer Klein's body off Highway 72, back off a dirt road 200 yards north of the Medford intersection. Says it was a hunting accident. I'm on my way there now. Relay the information to headquarters. I'll meet you there. 10-4? 10-4. I'm sorry to hear that. This is not much anybody can say. There's nothing anybody can say right now. settles that. It's 10 o'clock now. If we snap it up, we can be out of here by 2. Let's get that stuff out of the ground and on the truck. What about the processing? Uh, no, it'll take too long. Just get it on the truck well hidden. I'll be out to help you in a minute. Marty, Marty, let's leave here now. Don't be stupid. That'd be the worst thing we could do. But Matthews, he'll come back. Oh, no, he won't. Just got a call on his radio. They found the body and they think it's a hunting accident. All we got to do is get that stuff on the truck. Well, forget the stuff. Look, our harvesting ends today. The lease runs out next week. What could be less suspicious if we leave it scheduled? Now start getting us packed. I'll be out with Potter. Where's the body? Right over here. These tire tracks are what tipped me off. You can see they're just as fresh as Klein's. He called the coroner? He's been ordered. He'll be here as soon as possible. What about the lab man? One's already been set up to the hunting spot. He'll be down here as soon as he finishes. It was obvious to Sergeant Morris that Officer Klein had not met with a hunting accident. There were clear indications that he had been murdered. I checked the house. There's nothing. What about the coroner? He's been there. He found this in Klein's pocket. It's marijuana. As your motive. Somebody in Twin Forks must be growing it then. Joe must have run across it while he was hunting. Otherwise, he'd report it in. What about the lab man? He's checking now. All right, fine. As soon as you find out something, let me know. I'm going back to the St. Clair farm. I want to see what they're growing. Right. We don't have much gas in the car. Maybe I ought to go in now and have it filled up. 
Are you sure that's all you were thinking, Linda? It's not that, Marty. I just thought once we leave here, we ought to keep going and not make any stops. All right, go ahead. Get back in a hurry and finish up the packing. All right, I will. Leaf of marijuana found in Klein's body. Possible motive for killing. Inform Narcotics Bureau. I'll contact them further when something else is established. I'm heading for the St. Clair farm. Undercover. 10-4. Ten four. Twenty-one fifty to thirty-two eighty. Thirty-two eighty. Go ahead. I'm staked out at the St. Clair farm. Get some civilian clothes and a civilian car. Meet me as fast as you can. Thirty-two eighty. How do I find you? I'm parked in a concealed spot. I'm right across the street from the back door to St. Clair farm. I can see anybody leaving. Got it. Ten four. Ten four. Twenty-one fifty to headquarters. Go ahead. Twenty-one fifty. I'm staked out at the St. Clair farm. Have an undercover unit come out here and contact me right away. Also notify narcotics. We're trying to trace a truckload of marijuana to its distributors. I'll keep in touch with them. 10-4. Narcotics Bureau advises man en route. What about the Klein murder? Anything on the fingerprints yet? Headquarters. The car was clean. Just smudges. Only the shotgun barrel had prints. Any make? Headquarters. Not yet. But there's some beside Klein's. Either a little boy or a woman. Small prints. Well, there's a woman involved. They could be hers. 10-4? 10-4. That'll be $4 right on the butt, Miss St. Clair. Thank you, Fred. You're not leaving us, are you? Yes, yes, we'll be leaving today. It's been a nice year. We, uh, we might buy the place. Yeah, that'll be mighty fine. Say, a shame about Joe Klein, isn't it? Joe Klein? Oh, yes, yes, the, the accident. Oh, I don't believe it is an accident. And I don't think the police do either. Joe is too good with a gun. I think it is murder. Murder? Really? Ah, have a nice trip, Miss St. Clair. Hope you and your husband come back for good someday. As soon as you have a full load, you go ahead. Linda and I will meet you in the city. Okay with me. The sooner I get out of here, the better. It's been a great year, Marty. Too bad it had to end this way. Now, don't worry about it. Everything will be all right. As soon as we get the payoff, we'll all have enough to forget. Anyway, you drive up. Where's the car? I left it in the back. I was afraid the police were here. What gave you that idea? They don't think it's a hunting accident. How do you know? The gas station, Fred Davis. He said he didn't think so, and he bets the police don't either. Oh, Fred Davis, what does he know? Oh, Marty, let's go. I just don't like it. I don't like it myself, Marty. Now, look, the two of you, don't get panicky. We wiped that car clean. There's no possible way they can link us. We heard them ourselves on the radio. They said it was a hunting accident. Now, come on, let's get busy. We can be out of here in an hour. Go on, finish up the packing. Let's go. Officer Dillon was able to convince a citizen of the urgent situation and within minutes was on his way to the rendezvous point with Matthews. All right, 
Come in here. That was fast work. Cooperative citizen. At any minute now, that truck is going to leave. It's going to be loaded with marijuana. Tailor to the city. Why tailor it? Find out who the distributor is. You sure they'll be going? Yeah, I saw them loading. The minute the truck leaves, I'll go in and take the others. You think one of them killed Clyde? Well, one of them pulled the trigger that killed him. We got any proof on the murder? Fingerprints on the shotgun and the cast of their tire tracks. That's more than enough proof. There he goes. It's Potter. License number G51455. I'm on my way. Twenty-one fifty to headquarters. License number George five one four five five. Thirty-two eighties driving a nineteen fifty-six sedan. License number Henry David John three one two. Notify undercover units heading this way to intercept. Take over the tail. 10-4? Ten 10-4. Four. Ten four. Get your hands up. Put them on top of your head. You too. What's this all about, Matthews? You're under arrest for murder in violation of the Narcotics Act. What do you mean, murder? Officer Klein. You can't pin that on us. Female prince on the shotgun and a cast of your tire tracks. Potter shot him. We're innocent. Innocent of murder? Innocent of marijuana traffic? How do you sleep at night? Come on, let's go. See the Highway Patrol in action again next week. Until then, remember, leave your blood at the Red Cross, not on the highway. This is Roderick Crawford saying, see you next week.